Tesla's stock to return to $300 quickly, as Elon Musk transforms everything he touches, into the best says the principal at Fitzgerald Group. Tesla's stock price to return to $300 per share quickly, says the principal at Fitzgerald Group. He thinks that Elon Musk transforms everything he touches, so betting against him is not wise. Tesla and Elon Musk received support and praise from Keith Fitzgerald, principal at Fitzgerald Group in an interview with CNBC's The Exchange. He said Tesla's story is only just beginning, and Musk himself has a unique ability to transform every industry he touches, so it is not wise to bet against him. Anybody betting against Elon Musk might as well have been betting against Steve Jobs back in the day the analyst said. We know how this is going to play out. He unleashes just incredible transformation in every industry he touches. He is not getting stopped any time soon, he's got enough money to do what he wants, he's got a clear vision, Fitzgerald added. Fitzgerald's price target on Tesla is $300 which reflects a 54% upside potential from the current level. The analyst thinks that the stock will return to this level much faster than anyone thinks. Friday's closing price was $196.89 per share. I think it goes back to $300 a lot quicker than people think, he said. After surging above $200 on Thursday, Tesla's stock fell around 5%. On Friday, asked why not take profits now or when the stock price hits $250 or $280, Fitzgerald said it depends on the individual's risk tolerance and profit goals. I'm a big fan of when you have a double, you take half off and let the remaining shares run for free. Now you paid for your initial investment, you are still in the game, and you can continue to add more later if you want he said. Source. Reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tasmanian. My take. The stock should do better than $300 in 2023. Let's go Elon. Elon Musk to join the 2023 World Government Summit in Dubai. Elon Musk will join the 2023 World Government Summit in Dubai, which will bring together 10,000 international government officials, thought leaders, global experts, and decision makers. The summit will discuss ideas and strategies for shaping a better future for humanity. Tesla, SpaceX, and Twitter CEO Elon Musk is expected to headline the World Government Summit WGS 2023 in Dubai, reports Gulf News. The event will take place over three days next week, from February 13-15. Thousands of leaders, including 20 heads of state, 250 ministers, heads of 80 international, regional and governmental organizations, are expected to gather at WGS 2023 to discuss the pressing issues of today and the challenges the world is facing right now. It will be the second time Musk will visit WGS. He first joined the event in 2017 where he had a conversation with Mohammed Abdullah al Jergawi, UAE Minister of Cabinet Affairs and Chairman of WGS Organization. Both men will meet again in 2023. Participants of the 2023 WGS will discuss six key topics. Accelerating development and governance, future of societies and healthcare, exploring the frontiers governing economic resilience and connectivity, global city design and sustainability, and prioritizing learning and work. World needs you Elon Musk please stay safe and accept these well wishes. You are doing good for future generations. Gail Alpha. February 11, 2023 Source. Reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tasmanian. My take. I wish we could clone Elon, and have 10 Elons running around, fixing the planet. Tesla Model X Plaid is still dominating drag races nearly two years after launch. The Tesla Model X Plaid is still dominating drag races nearly two years after its launch, showing just how much legacy automakers have to catch up. There is nothing new about the concept of the super high-performance SUV. Mercedes has long made the G-Class with its incredible bi-turbo V8, Dodge has been making its Durango SUV with supercharged V8S for years, and BMW has prided itself on the performance characteristics found in the X5M. But in a video posted by CarWow, it is clear that the gap between the Tesla Model X Plaid and these vehicles remains enormous years after Tesla's launch. CarWow's SUV drag race includes the Tesla Model X Plaid, Lamborghini Urus Performante, BMW X5M Competition, 
Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT, and the Mercedes-Benz GLE 63S all of them can carry your golf bag and your buddies to the green in style, but which one gets you there quickest? It should be no surprise that the Tesla Model X, being the only electric vehicle on the grid, demolished the gas options from the legacy makers. With its instant brain-melting torque, the Model X Plaid pulls ahead and stays ahead for the whole quarter mile. But perhaps the biggest surprise is the price comparison of the vehicles. The Tesla is by no means a budget vehicle, starting at $119,990. Yet it certainly comes off that way compared to the Lambo which starts at $221,506, and in its highest performance trim, goes for $245,381. Ironically, the Porsche Cayenne is practically down to earth in comparison, starting at a measly $72,200 and only reaching $171,300 in its top trim. The BMW X5 M while starting at $108,900, reaches $114,100 with the competition spec. And the humble Mercedes-AMG GLE 63S comes in at $117,050. Tesla Model X Plaid sets record with 2.3 seconds 060 miles per hour launch. 9.7 seconds quarter mile. Despite Tesla's middle-of-the-pack luxury pricing, it leads in both horsepower and torque. The Tesla Model X Plaid produces 1,020 horsepower and 752 pound-feet of torque through its trimotor AWD drivetrain, allowing the gargantuan vehicle to rocket from a standstill to 60 miles per hour in just 2.5 seconds. Sadly, Tesla's closest electric SUV competition in terms of performance, the Rivian R1S, was absent from today's race but should make an amazing follow-up video for the ever-popular YouTube channel. With each of the automakers that raced the Model X today already planning on introducing higher performance electric models in the coming years, there is no doubt that the competition is about to get a whole lot closer. However, as evidenced by the video published today, Legacy makers have a lot of ground to make up. Source. Reposted and summarized from William Johnson at Teslarati. My take. If you want the fastest production car in the world, get a Tesla. The White House finally admits they need Tesla and Elon Musk's help. Last month, Tesla CEO Elon Musk met with senior White House officials John Podesta and Mitch Landry U to discuss the potential of expanding the automaker's industry-leading charging network to include non-Tesla electric vehicles. The White House finally admitted they couldn't push sustainability forward at the rate they'd like without Tesla and Musk. Since the Biden administration took over the White House, they have been slow to recognize the progress that both Tesla and Musk have contributed to the EV industry. Love him or hate him, Musk is a pioneer when it comes to passenger transportation. If it was not for him and Tesla, it is more than likely that EVs would not be as popular or relevant as they are today. The details of the White House meeting between Musk, Podesta, and Landry who remained under wraps until the Washington Post spoke to two people with knowledge of it. The sources explained that Tesla was open to potentially working with the Biden administration on relinquishing exclusive access to its charging network and instead expanding it to include other EV manufacturers, whether they are legacy companies or startups. Even still, Tesla did not completely commit to the idea. As I discussed yesterday, the Tesla supercharger network is one of the biggest and, in my opinion, the biggest advantages the company has. Everyone already knows that Tesla has a wide lineup of vehicles, it now has a commercial truck with the Semi, and it also is working toward launching the Cybertruck, its first pickup. The 43,000 plus superchargers in the world, with many of them in the United States, offer reliability, consistency, and an excellent footprint that sprawls from high traffic highways to even rural America. Many are situated near convenience stores, hotels, and other sources of entertainment. But while Tesla has been building out its expansive network of charging piles, increasing manufacturing capacity, and disrupting the entire automotive sector, it has not won the recognition of the commander-in-chief. Instead, Biden has focused on other companies, like General Motors, and we all know the infamous you did it, Mary quote. Nothing against GM, they are making strides in their own right, 
but it is just plain unfair not to give Tesla and Musk the recognition they so much deserve. The White House has put billions in government funding aside to help spur the use of sustainability. EVs are one of the biggest contributors to this effort, as most people will end up in a vehicle of some kind throughout their day. However, the White House has not loved mentioning Musk or Tesla by name specifically and Musk has noticed. So have his biggest supporters. Tesla's snub from White House EV event. The pros and cons. But the Biden White House is reaching a breaking point. With Tesla contributing so much to the EV infrastructure and its goals of establishing 500,000 new EV charging stations in the U.S. market, it is time to swallow the pride that the administration has shown and just ask Tesla if they'd consider it. It finally happened, and the ball now lies in Tesla's court. Numerous things have happened that point in the direction of Tesla potentially opening the supercharger network to competitors. First, Tesla has been testing the idea through a pilot program in Europe. It is open in 15 countries, the most recent being Italy which Tesla added in November. It also recently expanded to Australia. Next, the White House said last year that Tesla would begin production of new supercharger equipment that will enable non-Tesla EV drivers in North America to use Tesla superchargers. Finally, Tesla leaked details on what it calls the Magic Dock earlier this year in its smartphone app. This showed a potential CC's compatible connector being added to supercharger piles, enabling other EVs to charge. It is a big decision because there is a slice of $7.5 billion at stake here, which Tesla could utilize for its own charging capabilities. To qualify for it, however, the company has to enable other EVs to charge at its superchargers. Source. Reposted and summarized from Joey Klender at Teslarati. My take. It's a good idea to go to the man, who started the whole revolution.